Welcome to this demonstration of adding a new user to the Avaya Cloud Office. To get started, visit service.cloudoffice.avaya.com and log in to your admin portal to create an extension. You will then associate a direct dial phone number, a device, an extension number, and a user to it. The extension is the central concept. Think of it as a thing in the system that will become a phone. An extension number is typically a short number that others in your office can use to call you. A direct dial number is a phone number that anybody can use to call you. A device is the actual phone, a physical phone on your desk, or a software app on your PC or smartphone. A user is a person, for example, John Smith. To add a user, you will create an extension and then associate to that extension a direct dial number, a device, an extension number, and a user. To begin, use the Add User button found under the Users tab at the top. Under User List, choose between Users with Extensions and Unassigned Extensions. No matter which Add User button you choose, it will take you to the Add User dialog box and then through four main steps. For this example, we'll click the Add User button on the Unassigned Extensions screen. Step 1 allows you to choose between a domestic and an international location. This determines if the user will get a domestic or international number. For this example, we'll choose domestic and click next. In the second step, you can add a user by selecting add users with devices. This means when we add the user, we'll also add a device for them. Or you can add a user without adding a device by choosing add users without devices. Then add the device later. For this example, we'll use add users with devices. On this screen, you can specify the quantity of users. We'll just do one for now. The state or province, the area code, and the device. Select the state or province. This will determine what phone numbers the user can have. Select the area code. Click on the device box to see the phones you can purchase or have already purchased, and select a device. Clicking on a phone will display its summary. And if you don't already have that phone model available and unused in your account, you will also see its price. Clicking the Select button will take you back to the Add User dialog box. Now click Add to the extension. Since you added a device, it will also associate the device with the extension. Click Next, or go back to change your selections. If you chose to purchase a phone, enter the required shipping information, Check the box to the left of the phone you want to send, and click Assign to select it to ship it. If you order multiple devices, you can specify an address for each. Click Next when ready to proceed. Confirm the purchase by checking the confirmation box and clicking Next. Only at this point will the charges be incurred. When reviewing the charges, take note of the purchased phone number, as you'll need it later. Print the records if you want to, and click Done. You have now created an extension and assigned a device and a phone number to it. The next step will be to assign a user and an extension number to this extension. Go to Users, User Lists, Unassigned Extensions. Since the new extension hasn't been assigned to anyone yet, it will appear in this list. Find the new number using the search box. This row in the list represents the extension you created and shows the phone number and or device you associated with it. Click on this row to choose the recommended default setup option or a different one. Assign an extension number and assign the user by their name and email address. The email address must be unique to this system. The next highest available extension number will be automatically pre-populated in this form, but you can change it to another number that isn't already being used. Input the user's first and last name and email and change the extension number if you wish. The other fields are optional and can be done later. Click Save. New users will receive an invitation email with instructions on how to set up their account and use their phone. You can also review settings, resend invitations, and delete users from the users with extensions list. And that's it! Enjoy using Avaya Cloud Office!